What is up everyone? I am having a lot of fun with Regulation H and I'm having a lot of fun by building bad teams and this This is a bad team. It is a blizzard team and it really shouldn't work and you know sometimes it doesn't but it was good enough to get to master ball I, I did my master ball run uh, based purely around this team just to see if we could just to see what we could do with it and you know I know Glaceon's been getting a fair bit of love recently and why not it has ridiculous special attack stats but it's very slow it's very slow but not quite slow enough to work in trick room but I think we show in one of the matches that I've included in this video that in the right circumstances, Glaceon can be a terrifying threat. The glue that really holds this together, though, is Porygon Z. Um, it going Terra ground with Terra Blast was kind of essential for dealing with our Caladons, because um, they were just everywhere at the moment. Um, but there are a lot of other things that can work here. Like I like the idea of Slow King uh, setting up Trick Room and then doing Chili Reception. Um, I don't really get to show that in this video, and I might try and film again at some point to show where it can work. But you know, there are a couple of setup options, and then some Pokemon that can hit really hurt hard, like Pre Marina Throat Spray with its Hyper Voice can set itself up to be incredibly damaging. Inteleon, if it gets the critical hit with its sniper ability, tied with snipe shot, razor claw in the mix as well, it can cause enormous damage. Same thing with PZ and adaptability. So there's actually a lot of firepower in this team. It's just, you know, it doesn't like Arcaladon. Um, but we got three games to show you where it works quite well, and yeah, it's 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 good fun. It, it, you're not going to get an incredibly exciting win-loss record with this, but you will enjoy playing it. So, I bring you the Blizzard team. It's a tricky one. It's like, if there's a way to kill the Arcaladon early, then that's good. And I think, I think, yeah, we forced them to bring the Pelipper. And that's fine as well. Okay, so let's see how that goes. I'm gonna keep it nice, nice and chilly with the potential of setting up um, snow. Um, because in this Blizzard team, we're not totally dependent on Alolan Ninetales, which is why it's not come. So this is gonna be really tempting for our Caledon. Like, they, they, they just wanna go. Okay, so there's our Caledon. And. The slight challenge here is, you know, do we take the bait? Because they could just fake out and body press me straight off, which worries me a little. Because um, then they just see it's ground terror and then be able to change. But I suppose if they did that, if they did that, Mmm. No, the music stopped. If they did that, then things might go wrong. What happened? Where did the music go? No, maybe it's not. Anyway, <laughs> music less important. Game important. Don't fake out. Okay, we're going without music. Don't fake out. P. Okay, yeah, it faked out there. This is a bit of a problem. <laughs> this is somewhat all or nothing. But. But. Now. I think they know there's a risk of Terror Blast again. But I think we double up this slot in case they want to switch. No, they kept it out there. Okay. I don't know if it can survive this. No, nope, it doesn't survive it. I, we might lose the Glaceon. But, you know, we've got Primarina out there. Okay, it goes Knockout. I don't think that's a huge problem. I'm reasonably content with that. Because, you know, it sort of, it, it had done its job. It would be cool to, you know, have it back later in the battle, but 
you know, we have Primarina now. Um, without, I, I don't know. We'll we'll see what they've got on the back. Um, but this is like this is good for Prim. Okay. Now Glaceon's pretty bulky. Um, I think. I think we just leave them out there. They could flare blitz, I suppose. But I think we prefer to do this. They knock me off, so that's it's a very fast incineral. Um But they haven't gone for Terra. Um So still reasonably content and we're a salt vest. Oh look at that! It's a critical hit! Oh dear, it's a critical hit. Okay, so that makes life easier. <laughs> I mean, it was always going to do quite a lot of damage. Um, and imagine if that was coming with throat spray there. So, you know, that worked out well. What is... I mean, now we get boosted by the rain. Not really sure what the Pelipper can do here. Um... We're going to go freeze-dry again. I don't know what Pelipper would Terra to. Um, let's see. Because it's not over. I mean, it's almost over. <laughs> and they sort of left a lot of a lot of things out on the table for us that just made it too... I mean, I'm not going to say it was too easy because it's not over yet. Here's the Terra. Let's see what they've gone. They, they haven't thrown it up yet. Because they don't know what my third Pokemon is. Stella! Stella! Interesting. Okay. I don't know... Who are they coming in on? They're coming in on Prim. Yeah, Prim survives. Knock off there. That's okay. I think that's game. Um, this will cause a lot of damage. <laughs> yes, <laughs> lots of damage. Um, oh, it would have been a one hit as well. And that's game. Okay, cool. Well, annoying that the music cut out, because I liked that music. It would have been perfect for this battle. But it highlighted that this works quite well. I mean, we just took out an Archaladon Incineroar team <laughs> with, with my Blizzard users. Although it didn't actually use Blizzard once, which feels... A little wrong, but Matt just kind of gave it to me. So, uh, good. Good start. <laughs> good start to demonstrate the potency of this team. And you saw how hard Glaceon was hitting. I know it's against stuff that it would have been super effective against, but that, that that's why it's there. Good for Glaceon. Well done. I've got Ribombi. So I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we have to deal with some... Oh, there's redirection as well. Okay, loads of redirection. Um, should I be expecting a Tailwind setup from the Ribombi? I mean, Tailwind Ribombi alongside Garchomp would be terrible. Um, I mean, they don't have any weather. Could you just go with Prim? Okay, we're clearly not going to get any <laughs> get any music. Um, we're giving up on that for tonight. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Intellion doesn't really do so well here. Um. Okay, so my thinking here is we need these guys. I think we should go to the same team. We want to go for Trick Room. The worst possible lead here would be Ribombi and Garchomp. Okay. So that's what comes out. We might just, you know, turn it off <laughs> straight away. Say, like, no! There's no point. So, we see Mousehold. Oh! Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um... So that, I mean, that's something there's a lot of pace in the back. I'm tempted to just uh, hyper beam stuff, to be honest. Hyper beam it. Why not? Um, and then we're going to go trick room. 
We should be bulky enough to take... Um, could they go helping hand? They could go helping hand. But yeah, we're going to go trick room. Okay, follow me. It could be... Could be worse. We should be fast. Hyper beam! Oh, good grief. Now, the... The, ob the objective is to survive population bomb. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Nope. 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 Okay. <laughs> right. Oops. Eight times. Now then. I just don't think it's fast enough. And we're probably going to lose it next turn. So I think we just have to take a gamble here. Okay. Okay. And go, ghost. I think we've, we've blown this one a little bit. I mean, it, I mean, yeah. Um, we will terrestrialize and we will blizzard. Um, and we're hoping for the best here that they go in on Glaceon and not, <laughs> not the slightly, unfortunately, trapped uh, Paragon Z. I can admit, I can admit, going for Hyper Beam might have been excessive. But I can see what they're going for, because it's it's obviously a faster team, so that's that's what they needed off the field. Please hit my Glaceon. Hit the Glaceon. They hit the Glaceon. Okay, good. Blizzard will do big damage. It's not over yet. This one's not over yet. There's still a chance. There is still a chance to win this. I think I was playing samples of music. I need to download it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so... We're locked now. Okay, that thing. That Pokemon there is a problem. Okay, so I'm going to go Prim. Because what we... One is for them to not terrestrialize. What we want is to be able to use that to go for Terra Ground. Population bomb. Yeah, okay. So there is the risk here. But if we can get rid of it. Oh, no. Only one. Only one. And they've got no rain unless they've got Power Herb, which would be annoying. But... If we can... Yeah, it's got Power Herb. Okay, if we can kill Mousehold this turn... Okay, that's weird. I wasn't expecting that. And that's enormous damage. Because, of course, it doesn't have Assault Vest. Okay. All of a sudden, this is looking more... A lot more doable than I thought it might be. Um, the Dragon's a bit of an issue. Um, I'm wondering if I can get, can I get rid of that? It'll be neutral. Will they just double up on me? They might double up on me. Could I get away with a blizzard? Do I try blizzards here? <coughs> oh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do blizzards. I'm expecting... Yeah, okay, so he's gone normal. Um, so I think we know the way around this is going to come. We're quite slow. Oh, it's gone flying. Not what I was anticipating. Um, Terror Blast? Flash Cannon? Okay. So he didn't go extreme speed. I just... I don't... I just, blah, you know. Thing. <laughs> this depends a lot on whether Terra Blast can get the knockout. If it's got like Choice Banded, we're screwed. It's not over. No! Oh, we missed! Oh, no, that's not the one that we wanted to hit. <laughs> okay. Right. So. Here's the problem with this. <laughs> oh, I should have probably just done Hyper Voice, shouldn't I? Or, or just taking it out. Um, 
Not going to do enough. It's multi-scale. Um... Oh, hold on. This is a question of does it have... Yeah, okay, we're going to gamble on this. We're going to go for the Blizzard play. Um... Oh! Look at the damage! Look at the damage on that! Terrorblast comes in where? This slot! This slot! I think we've done it! I think we've somehow... I survived it as well! Hey! <laughs> oh, that was tremendous. I didn't think the Blizzard was going to take out the Arcaladon. <laughs> oh. Blizzard, 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 Blizzard. That was outstanding. Oh. Well, very pleased with that. <laughs> Were we totally in control of that situation? Yeah, not exactly, but win's a win. Yay! So this shouldn't work out well for <laughs> for for, her, for an icy. I mean, it's not that it's an ice team; it's a blizzard team. But you know, the bulk of what we're bringing does not work well against this team. I'm wondering, do we need to just commit to trick room from the off? And is there really a way for them to stop it? I don't know. But I think this is what we go. This is what we go with. Um, as with, as always, if we are in... I mean, it could just blow up. Does it blow up next to it? We'll see. Um... It's a tricky one. Um, I haven't seen Metagross out for ages. And usually... Ooh! Excuse me. It's getting late. Usually Metagrosses just blow up. That's what they like to do. So what if... Oh, God. Okay. Um... Okay, so if this just blows up in my face straight from the off, I guess I've read the game and have decided to do silly things regardless. So let's... Let's roll some dice. It's half past midnight. It's past my bedtime. Um, Metagross, please do not blow up. Arcaladon, stay on the field. Do not terror. Like the worst case scenario is Metagross goes normal type terror. The fish switches in, and then it explodes. Um, but I don't necessarily know that they want to do it. They know PZ is going to be fast. The terror blast comes in. Okay, this could be worse. We get the knockout. Nice. Okay. So, now I'm starting to think the Trick Room was not what I wanted to do. Hone Claws! It's gonna go... Accuracy is up. I mean, this may still be terrible for what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, so now I've got a very slow Pokémon for what that's worth in this battle. We should not have gone Trick Room. Should not have gone Trick Room. Oh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'm a bit stuck. I mean, obviously, I'm going to hit that. Um, eerie Spell. Yeah, see, the, the Chili Reception play doesn't really help me. Um... I suppose they've picked their terror, which is something, and they are going to go normal. They're going to blow up, aren't they? They're going to blow up. <laughs> well, they're not going to blow up. Oh, no. Well, that actually did quite good damage. 
There's the explosion. That I I don't know why you would do that at this point. My thinking is we should now be slow. I wonder what the calc on the crit is. <laughs> what are the sort of the numbers that are running there? But now, my thinking is I should have a really quite slow team now. I mean, they could be set up for Trick Room. I don't think they would be, but, that, but it's a possibility. Um... Last respects. Okay, so Prim comes in. Glaceon comes in. I don't remember what options they had in the back, but they've lost two big, powerful Pokemon. Um, what is the last thing out here? Yeah. Okay. So, that's going to be a very fast fish now. Maybe, we, maybe this did work out for the best. Um, Hyper Voice comes in. They can't Terror. We must be slower than it. We've got Assault Vest. So, it's got a couple of options. It could go for Hurricane. It's sometimes Pelipers are slow, but I don't think it'll be that slow. Hyper Voice is going to do a little bit of damage, but I think Speed Tier means that we're going to get the kill coming in with Glaceon next, and that's nice. That's Glaceon who secures that. And yeah, Trick Room actually... You know, I've been saying to myself for quite some time, I should just put this team into Trick Room more often because it works quite well. We're a... Um, oh, crikey, that's with a Salt Vest. Okay, so let's not count the chickens on this one. Um, we'll Moonblast it. We've got the plus one. We've got several turns to do damage. Moonblast, big hit coming in. And that's the knockout. And that might do. So, again, remind myself. Run this team in Trick Room more often, because it works quite well. Because the team is so horribly slow. Glaceon, it's a beautiful Pokemon. It's down there below us. Look at it, it's amazing. Um, but <laughs> Look, guys, I'm not saying it's a good team. I'm saying it's a fun team. And to have a team that runs nothing but Blizzard, I mean, that's not strictly true, but all of these Pokemon could run Blizzard if you want. Um, and maybe I'll film that again at some point. Because I don't think we, we didn't get anything that was terribly hacksy. Um, the dream is to like get double freeze, knock those Pokemon out, and then double freeze again. That one day... But, you know, you can see the potency of this, and especially in Trick Room, it works quite well. So, there you go. Glaceon, Ninetales, Paragon Z, all of its friends with Blizzard. That'll do.